Hi, I'm Jamie and welcome to Glowing Beauty Addiction. Welcome back if you're one of my subscribers and a great big hello if you're one of my new subscribers. Today I have part two, I've been teasing it, of my brand banter for Gerard Cosmetics. My swoop a shout out for today is Jen Gerard. She is the owner, founder, queen of Gerard Cosmetics. Um, before I get into this video, I will recommend that you go watch part one. I give all the information on the video, on the company there. And uh, things have changed a little. I am now an affiliate with Gerard Cosmetics. So full disclosure, um, the only two items that I've gotten for PR that will be in this video are these. Um, I did replace a setting spray and I got a tooth whitening, teeth whitening kit, but the rest, my own Della Della Bills. So disclosure, my affiliate code is down below, save some money, it works on everything except sale items, and if you want to use it, thank you. If you don't, cool. So part two is I will be filming this over multiple days. I am going to swatch every product I own on my lips. So that's why I have a kind of unfinished look today. All I have on my face is primer. I put on some eyeshadow from the Emily Edits palette. So if that changes, you'll know I'm going through this multiple days. I will also be using, I just brought it in here. Oh, right here. Um, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Primer. I have spoken about this before. I ran out of my NARS. I've used this enough now that I can say I think I prefer this over the NARS. It smells better. It seems like there's more product and it has um, a more moisturizing effect, I think. So. Anyway, without further ado, let's grab one, two, and there's more in my bathroom too, but we're going to do this. The reason I'm doing this over multiple days is I love these products so much and I don't want it to look like, oh wow, they're all great in the beginning and in the end they might not look as good because my lips may be angry. So I want everything to have a fair chance. So I have my makeup wipes here, my lip moisturizer. I do have a Jeffree Star lip scrub in case I need it. But I figure the way I'm going to attack this is I'm going to start off with their beautiful lip glosses. So I'm kind of going to work perhaps lightest product to darkest, most, most pigmented, or that's even the wrong word. Easiest to get off, hardest to get off, perhaps. We're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna see what my lips are telling me. So, here we go. Let's start with, this is the lip gloss and this is in Candy Kiss. And I really hope these show up so when I'm editing, I will know what the colors are. First thing I wanna mention about these lip glosses is they all have a cute little mirror on there and a lighted applicator. They smell good. I just think that's cool. I think it's those extra little touches. I think the packaging is amazing. I will also be using my, you see this mirror in any video that I'm applying makeup. So let's give this a swatch. They feel so nice on. So keep in mind, I have uneven lips. Lips are not my strong point when I'm doing my makeup, but there's that. Just a nice, soft, pink, fun color. Mm. So that was Candy Kiss. Let's break out the wipes, y'all. And it's funny, I purposely wore a black shirt because I thought, okay, I have a lot of black shirts. I can duplicate that. My hair is probably gonna change throughout, whatever, but at least I'm gonna look kind of the same. We will take that off. 
and I didn't want any foundation on or anything today because I thought as I'm wiping my lips that's gonna look really funky so moisturize and prime now let's go on to another gloss like this packaging is just so classy and this is in Madison Avenue so it's a very nice nude gloss now it's funny because I have never been a lip gloss fan like at all especially since having long hair glosses just seem to stay so sticky they don't feel moisturizing or anything it's just kind of like stick on your lips and then your hair is getting stuck in it I wear these on the daily um they are a gloss so yeah your hair is gonna get stuck in it but they feel like they're actually moisturizing your lips them. Now, this is the final gloss I have, and this is in Nude. Again, beautiful. So this is Nude. And you'll notice I am not re-dipping or having to go back into the pan. Pan bottle container tube. I think this is probably my most used gloss. So here is Nude. Trying to do something nice with my lips because I know when I'm editing, I'm going to be zooming in. It's, I am still editing. I'm about four hours of editing into my last video and I'm still not done. So who knows? This one may even go up before. So now we will go into the bullet lipsticks. They are, again, just class, classy, classy packaging. They make me feel bougie. I don't know why, but they do. So let's go into Buttercup. Now what I love about these colors, because this one, of course, it's going to look very light on me. Um, again, they're moisturizing. Mm. But what I love about these is they play so well together. So if I ever have a color on that maybe I'm feeling it's too dark, too bright, whatever, I have mixed all these together and there hasn't been that, I don't know, thick feeling. I love it and I love being able to mix without layering, if that makes sense, so that you can kind of make your own color, how you feel in that day kind of thing. So again, that was a buttercup. So the next one we will do is Rodeo Drive. This one has been well used and loved. I love this color. It's, it's that fun pink shade without being that neon pink if you know what I mean so I like it next we have uh, let's let's go with next we have 1995 I adore this color I love 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 this color the wear time on these also is fabulous um i have worn these for full days eating chicken wings whatever they stay your lips never feel dry they are not drying in the least in my opinion and now i know i use a lip primer most days but there are days that i'm just like ah oh, quick oh i need color put it on my lips feel great and the last but not least for the bullet lipsticks i have merlot now this is the this is my let's get vampy kind of look i'm shocked i've made it this far and i don't have lipstick on my teeth 
says something about the lipstick. So, this is Merlot. Where did I put it up? <laughs> this is my I'm feeling kind of fancy, seductive, vampy color. I'm already getting so red around my lips just from the makeup wipes. And I mentioned in my last video, I have been using these Intensive Eye Coconut Oil Makeup Cleansing Wipes. I've kept these in my office, mostly for swatches and stuff because I don't like them on my face. They're supposed to be super calming and stuff, but I find when I've been using them on my whole face, they're kind of irritating. So, is what it is. So let's now go, what, kind, what formula should we do next? Um, Let's go and do the Supreme Lip Creams. These are fun and they're moisturizing again. Um, let's start with Blooming Hibiscus just because, oh my goodness, this color. Um, it's one that I kind of got almost as a joke. Um, Oh, this one has like a fruity smell that the others don't. I don't know why. Uh, I got it thinking I wouldn't like it. And I love it. Now this one doesn't dry down as much as like the Hydro Mats and whatnot. But oh my goodness. I just, I love this. It gives you that shine, but with more pigment than a gloss. It's, I don't know. This one always makes me think, like, do you remember when you're a kid and you drink fruit punch or Kool-Aid or something, and your lips just kind of get that nice little hint of color? I love this. And I was, like I said, I bought this color thinking, oh, Lord, this is going to be whoo, out of my realm, never going to wear it. I love it. I wear it the smell. I love it. Now this is the one, this is again, I'm doing all the lip creams, um, Angel Cake. Now this is one of those ones that I use and I would mix these with other brands. If I put on a color, it's too bright, too dark, anything. I use this. Unfortunately, my doe foot would show that. Hmm. But uh, I use this one to tone it down. Or I use this for like, if you want that ombre lip look. I just love how these feel on my lips. Hmm. So one of my favorite things to do with this particular color is uh, I will use a lip pencil and then put this over top for like that ombre to give you back a little bit of moisture in your lips. I love this one. Now the next Supreme lip cream that I have is Destiny. Again, notice the packaging, beautiful. You can tell which colors I kind of lean towards. Sometimes you look and it's like, they're all the same, but they're so not. Oops, let's add some to my nose. To me, this is the perfect everyday color. It's enough color to, people can tell you're wearing lipstick, but it's not, I don't know, it's just that perfect. I wanna say nude, but there's too much color to be a nude. I guess I'll use my term I used in another video. It's the notice me nude. I love it. So now we have Envy, which is a beautiful, it's a little bit darker. This one's well used. Hmm. Like, isn't that just gorgeous? This is the one, I don't know if colors or formulas and stuff, um, I don't know, it brings memories to my mind, certain things. And this is just that happy, youthful, I don't know. It's my comfort color. I, I love this one. Last but not least, I have Man Eater. 
I love the names. You know, and this is weird, random thing. There are some brands, it's like, you see the color, then you read the name, and it doesn't seem to match. And I don't know if it's my OCD, what, but it bugs me. <laughs> and I know everybody has different ideas of what colors mean, whatever. But I like that the colors and the names match. It's like when you put this on, it's like man eater. Yeah. When I get into these darker colors, my uneven lips are more noticeable and it really bothers me. But this is Maneater. It's finding a nice red is hard. Um, I, with my skin tone, I love a red with a blue undertone. That's the most flattering to my skin tone. And I honestly, looking at this shade, I don't know what the undertone to this is. If it's a more, I don't know, but I love it. Love it. So we're back uh, now. This multi-day thing. I should have a contest. How, what day do you think I'm on right now? Am I doing kind of okay? I've changed eye looks maybe. I don't know. Okay, now. We have covered the lip glosses. We have covered the Supreme Lip Creams, the Bullet Lipsticks. Now on to what is probably, probably one of my favorite formulas from Gerard Cosmetics, and that is the Hydra Matte. There are not enough descriptor words for how nice this formula is, how long lasting the formula is. It's comfortable on the lips. It's hydrating. The color payoff is fabulous. I just can't say enough good about it. So here's the packaging. Ooh, classy. And we will start with nude. Whether that'll actually focus on it or not, who knows. Now I didn't show the bottoms of the Supreme Lip Creams just because they're kind of they're more reflective. There's more writing on them. They're harder to see. So let's go in with nude. Mm, they smell like frosting or buttercream. Now, what I love about this nude color is while it's pretty light, it's not so light that you couldn't wear it on the daily. It's just a nice nude shade. So now let's go on to Serenity. Now, this is one of the ones that I got in my PR package. And can I just say Gerard Cosmetics knows how to do PR. They don't send you absolutely every color of everything, which, okay, I love their stuff. I would probably use every color, but I see this so often and I've mentioned it in my videos about if I had my own beauty brand, there is no need to send me the darkest of dark and the lightest of light foundation shades in a PR package. Whereas Gerard Cosmetics gives you a dollar amount, says pick stuff you'd like and go from there. And I think that is fabulous. Now I just got this one. I've never tried this one before. Mmm, I love this shade. I hate that I'm breaking out around my mouth when I'm trying to do this video, but so this is Serenity. Love it. Love, love, love it. Now we will go on to Ballet Slipper. Now notice there has not been a single product that I've had to double dip into my tube before. Mm. Mm. 
what a nice fun this is the go-to spring color in my opinion it's this nice corally but it's still pink i love it now we'll go into share now this was one of my first hydromat lipsticks that i got my favorite I know I've said that a few times, but I have the um, lip liner that goes with this, and it is my go-to trusted color. It's the color that I'll call it my confidence color. I actually feel brave enough to overline my lips, and then they, you know, are even. This is, I know it's not really a nude shade. This would be my nude. My go-to color. So that was Cher. Now we will go into Everything Nice. These are also used, which is part of the reason I'm opening them down below because I'm messy. Again, now this is like a perfect nude shade for me. It is just that little tint more warm or brown. Love it. I am getting so red. Next we have Mile High. And yes, I smell it every time I put them on, all of them. I just these colors they're like I think the best way to describe them is they're 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 pigmented without being in your face and I am gonna get brave I'm gonna get some of the brighter colors but for natural like there's not one I have that I wouldn't wear every single day I love them so now the next one holy am I getting red <gasps> Um, is Wine Down. This is one of the, the brighter colors. Like, is this not gorgeous? I'm always drawn to, like, the purpley wine colors, and I never know if I can pull them off. And then I put it on and I'm like, I just kind of feel powerful. <laughs> there goes all the powder. Oh, natural from, well, I have no foundation on anything. One more. One more, then I'll give my face a break because I'm getting so red. The last one here for Hydro Mats is Boss Lady. And I think I wore this one for my, if I had my own brand, because it does, it gives you that feeling of, I kind of rule the world right now. I'd be a, I'd be an awesome boss. I think I could create a great brand. I suck at doing lips. Now this shade, what I like about this shade is it's in my opinion, it's very unique because it's got the brown tones, but it's got wine tones, but in the right light, there's red tones. It's got everything. Like, why do you not have this in your life? <laughs> and we're back again. I didn't even bother putting on any primer or powder or anything this time, seeing how much gets wiped off after the first go. So, my hair is going to drive me crazy. So we only have two, kind of three formulas left. Where to start? Okay, I only have one metal matte and it is in Cherry Bomb. So we'll start there. Now this is the perfect red with a blue undertone.
I love this red. It's, how do I say this, politically correct. As we age, we get more lines in our lips. Even though this is metallic, it doesn't seem to settle in those lines and accentuate them. Now, perhaps that's because, like all the other formulas, it's not drying. So I find that I can wear this all day without having that raisin lip look. So, cherry bomb. Now, next we will go on to the lip liners. So my cheat on days where I'm just kind of like, oh, I need color. I don't know why this is actually harder than a lipstick, but for some reason, on those days, I'm like, I'll just use a lip liner, do my whole lip, and go with it. So this lip liner is in Bel Air. Aren't they gorgeous? Again, bougie and well used. <laughs> So it's nice. It's just that little bit of pop, I guess, to add a little bit of color to your lips. These are lip pencils. They last a long time. They're not moisturizing like the other products are, but they're definitely not drying. I have a ton of other lip pencils and again, raisin lips. You feel like you're needing a lip balm, something on top. I find these ones comfortable enough to wear all the time. So this is Bel Air. The next one I'll do is called Melrose Place. <laughs> uh, yeah, I use these a bit. I am going to have to find a sharpener and then I'll do Melrose Place. There, we're sharpened up. And I kind of really like the fact that they're the user sharpener type lip liners. For those of you who are makeup artists and have a kit, I just think it's a lot more sanitary than the twist up type. So this one is Melrose Place. Love this. Then we will go on to Nude. Now this one for me is a true nude. You can't see anything on my lips. I used to always use, and I still do use occasionally, you can get clear lip liners. And those are great, especially when you have bright colors. Like say you're wearing a Jeffree Star Breakfast at Tiffany. Well, now he's got lip liners. But if you're wearing one of those wild colors and you don't have the right lip liner, but still need a lip liner, clear ones are fabulous um i wish there was a uh, gerard cosmetics one but in cases i use the nude because it is the actual exact same color as my lips next we have luna again a well used one but luckily i don't have to sharpen it right now So this one has a little bit more of a pinky undertone. Now, maybe I'll take a picture of swatches. Let me know down below if that's what you would like to see. Because I know sometimes, especially when there's this many that's gonna be in this video, it gets hard to, I don't know, distinguish Luna from Melrose or whatever. So if you would like to see side-by-side -side swatches, please let me know. I have no problem doing that at all. Now, the last lip liner I have is Cher. I mentioned this one earlier. Um, this one's... <laughs> you know those times where it's like, dang, it's flat, and then you're too lazy to sharpen it, and you think it's going to work without sharpening it? So I'll sharpen this. So there is Cher, the lip liner. 
And now I will put on top of that my Cher Hydromat. Because this is my go-to everyday lip. I love it. Now, when this dries down, the last product, lip product, that I'm going to talk about is the Kiss Assist Lip Plumper. I love this. I swear by this. It's not painful like some. I'll have to see if I can remember. I did try a lip, lip plumper that was just similar to this with the doe foot. It burned my lips so bad. It was painful. Did my lips look fuller? Yeah, but it was almost because it looks like and felt like I had been stung by bees. It was not fun, not pleasant, did not like it. Now, normally, if you get one, it won't be this color. Mine's discolored because I use it every day over all different colors, shades of lipstick. So it definitely smells like cinnamon. There's a tingle, so I'm not gonna say you don't feel anything, because if you didn't feel anything, it probably wouldn't be doing anything. But it is not, ouch. Like, I wear it every day. I love it. I do think it makes my lips look much more plump. It hides some of those experience lines we get in our lips as we get older, and I love it. I have the one here that I use every day. I have one that I carry in my purse now. Yay! Every day. Swear by it. Love it. Cannot recommend it enough. So those are all my Gerard Cosmetics lip products. It has been a few days of filming these. My poor lips are going to need a break, but it was worth it. I wanted everyone to be able to see just how nicely they go on what the shade looks like on lips. So true to form, not just a swatch on the back of the hand and it's like, oh yeah, that's cool. They wear nice, they apply nice, the formula is great, it's comfortable. Most of them, all of them, I would say, except for the lip liners, feel hydrating and nourishing. That, that's my thoughts on it. Um, and before anyone's like, ooh, you have an affiliate code, I have been going on about Gerard Cosmetics well before I had an affiliate code. Um, I can't remember if it was, I think it may have been Candy Kiss. It was the first product I ever got and I believe it was through Ipsy. I used some, oh, was it Ipsy? It's one of my subscription boxes anyway. I had points that I could use. I used those points to get the lip gloss. And from there, it was like, yeah, now I got to try it all because we know I have a problem. So let me know what you think of this video. Would you like to see more videos like this of multi-day type filming things? Would you like to see different swatches? Um, I can put on my Twitter and my Instagram pictures if you would like to see side by sides. Anything, let me know. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I had fun making it. And to Jen Gerard, thank you for being you. I, I just love what you're doing for the beauty community. Um, I think in my, just me personally, everyone's like, who would you collab with if you could collab with anyone? And everyone's like, Jeffree Star, Manny, you know, all Patrick Star, all these big ones. I think a dream collab would be Marlene Estelle from Makeup Geek and Jen Gerard from Gerard Cosmetics. If they collabed, and I know I should include myself, but I just think if those two collabed, like maybe Gerard Cosmetics would get into color. Um, Makeup Geek already has lips, but maybe there could be a collab of a whole color story, similar to like what Pantone does, or I don't know. I just think seeing that those two brand owners come together would rock the internet. Like wigs would be flying. I think it would be amazing. I would love to meet them in person. Um, it's no, no, 
no secret that I love both brands and I don't know Marlena. I feel like I know Jen. I feel like I've known her for years. I consider her a great friend. Anyway, enough rambling. I hope you enjoyed and until next time, I love you all so much. Bye. And we're back again. I didn't even bother putting, whoops.